Some of the stage artists spent time working and painting and studying in Europe, which had a big influence on them because they were there at the time of the Impressionists. In fact, some of them were members of the British Impressionist group of artists. They embraced the idea of painting on plain air, which means painting outside. Now, this has its limitations because obviously, unlike working in a studio, you can't set up a composition and come back to it the next day. Everything changes. You have to capture the light and the heat and the feeling of the atmosphere of the setting. You have to, has to be captured just in that one day before it goes. Therefore, leaving an impression of the day on your canvas. To create a painting like this, the artist would set off for their day's work with an easel, maybe a drawing board, drawing paper, a pencil to do sketches, and then the canvas and brushes, um, but essentially the paint. Now, paint wasn't as accessible before 1841, when we had the introduction of paint that came in tubes, making the painter's job a mobile occupation. It got them out of the studios and onto the streets and into the fields to be able to paint very quickly. Just because paint was now readily available in tubes, it didn't mean that the artist took lots of tubes of paint with them. Often they'd just take perhaps half a dozen or whatever they could carry. This resulted in what we call a limited palette, which meant that the artist was reduced just to working from a few different colours. And we see that here in this painting by Mark Senior, who was one of the founder members of the Stades Art Group. This is a painting of the vegetable market in Bruges. Now, if you study this carefully, you'll see that he probably just took with him a black and a white, a uh, blue, a uh, red and probably an ochre, which is a brownish yellow. Mix these together and you can create a, a vast array of colours. And also, if you look, there are no harsh lines in this painting. There are, there's no fine detail. All the figures and trees are all built up by short dabs of paint, which really capture the feel of the market on a hot summer's day. It captures the impression of the day. Next time you're out looking at a lovely view somewhere and you think, I would really like to paint that, take a really good look at the colours that you see within it. Be honest about what you really see and think, would I be able to paint that myself with a limited palette, maybe just five or six different colours? Give it a try. You'd be surprised at what comes up.